In setting up your preclinical validation plan, you need to take into account the following criteria. First, your starting point is the risk analysis as well as the review of the essential requirements which devices need to comply with. Europe has a list of all the essential requirements a device needs to comply with, which can be used as a checklist. An example of such a checklist that adheres to the Medical Device Directive and the Active Implantable Medical Device Directive is provided in your course room. From the risk analysis, you will have identified a number of risks and possible means by which you can minimise these risks so that they do not outweigh the benefits to the patients. As seen in previous courses, several design criteria must be taken into account. The extent of your preclinical validation depends on several device inherent criteria. The materials used, that is, is there a known biocompatibility? The combination of materials used, that is, two biocompatible materials used together may become toxic. The environment the device will be used in, that is, in contact with body tissue or body fluids. The intended performance of the device, that is, is it performing over time, is its performance repeatable in a homogenic manner. Before we dig into the clinical validation, let's make sure we have a clear understanding of what we mean by clinical evaluation. A clinical evaluation is needed for all products, regardless of the regulatory system of the country you want to market your device in. Some important characteristics of a clinical evaluation are 1. A critical evaluation of all data on humans available at the time of performing the evaluation. 2. The clinical evaluation is an ongoing exercise which needs to be performed periodically over the lifetime a device is used on humans, whether in a clinical investigation or for commercial use. 3. A clinical evaluation consists of two parts, the evaluation of existing data and of prospective clinical investigations. 4. Under the European system, a clinical evaluation based on existing data may be sufficient provided it supports all the claims made under the CE Mark scope.